What's up, everybody, and welcome to an all-new episode of Casters of Horror. I'm Chris Mess. I'm Shane, and this week we fear the boogeyman. I'm the boogeyman, Ooh. boogeyman. Dun, me, oh, not that boogeyman. Not the Rob Zombie boogeyman, but <laughs> the Stephen King boogeyman. Yes. Uh, yeah, so this movie came out, it was in theaters not too long ago, and uh, yeah. it's now streaming. So you guys can check it out. Um, but uh, yeah, it came out this year. Uh, it When it first was really, I mean, we even did a trailer reaction video yeah. to it. Yep. yep. And then the movie disappeared into obscurity. That it did. <laughs> and I was like, when is this movie coming out to theaters? And supposedly it came and went. Yep. So we'll, here's our review. Of a movie that that went under the radar, and yeah. yeah. So anyway, uh, like I said, it was written by Stephen King, uh, or at least it was based off of one of his stories. Yeah, based on an um, old, old short story from like late seventies or early eighties. I don't remember. Yeah, it was uh, then written by Scott Beck, Brian Woods, Mark Heyman, directed by Rob Savage, uh, who has done such films as. Dash cam, Dawn of the Deaf, uh, and host Dawn of the Deaf was a uh, was a short film, but huh, okay. Um, he also did uh, two episodes of the TV series Soulmates for anybody who cares. Um, <clears throat> he, yeah, he hasn't he hasn't he's done some TV stuff, but beyond that, not not a whole lot. Um, a lot of short films and stuff, but anyway, this uh, this stars uh, Sophie. Thatcher as Sadie Harper, Chris Messina as Will Harper, the dad, uh, and Vivian Lyra Blair as Sawyer Harper, which is the youngest daughter. Uh, and then David Dast Malakian in it for about a minute and a half. <laughs> yeah. No, no yeah. spoilers to anybody, but he ain't in it for very long for well, being all over the trailer. Yeah. That's so a shame like, too. Such a great actor. It's this dude. I like yeah. the dust him like a my, my chackalackin. <laughs> Whatever his name is. Boom shackalackin. I like this guy. Yeah. And then I was like, wow, that was short lived, literally. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, um, this is gonna be an interesting this is gonna be an interesting review for me. Yeah. Um okay. I was really, really excited about this one. And it was like, Shane was like, Chris, you pick next week's film. And I was like, all right, I got it. We're going to do Boogeyman. We're going to do it. And then then we did it. And then I'm like, wow, that was a forgetful movie. <laughs> really? Not a fan, huh? I, I, I wasn't a huge. I mean, the girls did a great job in it. Oh, Their yeah, acting sure. was really, really good, um, which we spend most of the film with the two sisters, mm -hmm. especially uh, what was her name again? Sadie. Yeah, especially with Sadie, um, which she did a great job in it. Um, this was one of those movies where someday you'll probably say to yourself, what was that movie that I watched that one time and it had this thing? And then yeah. even at that point, I probably won't even remember. Like, I don't even remember a moment where I would go back and go, what was that thing? Yeah, you remember it's the it's the, the, the creature, the, the the dark with the long arms and legs. It, yeah. You'll have to be more specific. <laughs> yes. Yes. The Babadook. Um, yeah. uh, this, um, it, it's, it's kind of a forgetful film. Um, it's one of those movies where someday down the road, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I did watch that. Didn't I? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I was really going into it hoping for a lot more, but it, it really, it was kind of bland to me yeah. to be honest. But, uh, in, and it wasn't really any there. Now I do have to say there were some good jump scares in it. Oh yeah. There, there yeah. were some good jump scares and, but for the most part, overall, the, overall arc of it the boogeyman kind of will end up in the shadows i think for me <laughs> should have stayed uh, well, in the closet it stayed in the closet uh <laughs> yeah uh so what were your thoughts on it 
And here, here it comes. Um, He's going to be like, I loved this movie. I can't believe it. That you would say so, that you hated this movie. And that's not no, that I by, hated the movie. By it's the just, end of it, I was actually thinking, I'll be surprised if Chris likes this. Um, solely because it ends up being a creature feature. You know, which and see, I know, that didn't even bother me. Really? Okay. That didn't bother me. Um, it, it was just, there was, I don't know. It was almost kind of like, it just seemed very generic. The whole yes. film seemed very generic to me. Yes. I, I totally agree. Yeah, it was generic. Um, I will say it had, it did have some of the same spooky vibes that we got out of Cobweb. But not there's a as yeah there's not some. as effective not nearly no. as effective no uh, yeah this is this was generic um, it was a creature feature uh, it's I don't know you know I liked it but I very much agree with you that if you tried to describe it to me ten years from now I, I probably wouldn't remember what the I probably wouldn't be able to say for sure what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. So, and and it's not and like I said, it's not that I disliked the movie. Yeah. Like I was very intrigued. I thought like I said, the acting was really really good in it. Yeah. Um I thought that they did a great job. I was intrigued through the movie. It's just it was just kind of there. Yeah. Um and like I said, it was very generic. There wasn't anything really that I hadn't seen before. Oh yeah. Um, no, definitely but not. some of the jump scares were great. And, and yeah, there was did. one early on. I can't remember what it was, but there was one early on that I got me, <laughs> got me good. Yeah, there's so, a few that got me, but yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I will say that um, as a Stephen, I think King, they could have pushed the boundaries a little bit more. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. I think they could have pushed yeah. it and punched it a little bit harder, and I wish that they yeah. would have. And I hate to keep using this word um, because. I just recently used it, but this felt very safe. Yeah. You know, it was I mean, very safe. I, I, I will say that as a, as an ad- adaptation of a Stephen King story, I think this is one of the better ones that I've seen. Um, and I, I can't say if that's related to the story itself or just the interpretation of it. Yeah. yeah. But I have watched a lot of Stephen King based movies. I, yeah. You know, so many of those, you know, back in the day, they were really terrible made for TV films. Mm-hmm. So, which this one was originally basically supposed, it was supposed to be released to Hulu, I think Hulu. Oh, okay. And then it actually screened well with test audiences. So they put it in theaters. Um, but yeah, as a Stephen King ad- adaptation, I think it's one of the better ones. I did enjoy it, but you know, it's, yeah. I, it's not one that I shut off. <laughs> No, I mean, no. I mean, you know, we, you and I have joked in the past. We're like, have we, have, have we been, is it this one where I've kind of been like, okay, can I, do I really have to watch this whole scene? Cause yeah. Yeah. There's been a few movies that I've been through where I'm just like, oh my yeah. God, come on. And, and for me, the, like maybe the first half of this movie was like that where it's like, okay, how much can I get away with? Can I? Watched it to the higher speed. Can I skip (laughs) 10 seconds? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. But I'm going to put this on my, where does it rate against barbarian scale? It was better than barbarian. (laughs) (laughs) That's a really low bar. (laughs) Oh man. For us. That's a, that's a very, very low bar. Yeah. But especially, but after coming off of seeing cobweb, yeah, and and you got a movie involved involved around kids and stuff like that. It's it's hard to compare the two. Yeah. I think Cobweb really punched when it needed to, mm-hmm. and held back when it needed to. In this movie, it pulled the punches. It didn't quite go to where it needed to go at the yeah. times when it did. So, it but anyway, a, it was a generic and safe creature horror film. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it wasn't I, bad. I, no, it wasn't bad. No, I liked it actually, no. but no, but I won't remember it 10 years from and, now. So yeah, exactly. Tell us what you guys think. If you guys have seen this film or, uh, if you're looking or excited to see it, let us know down in the comments. And while you're down there, make sure to hit like, and subscribe. Ding, ding. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to get that bell just in time. 
Every, just click on my face, yeah. right? That, click on Shane's the, face. That's where the bell. Right in the knock him, knock him right in the bell. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, let us know what you guys think, and uh, if there's any films you guys want us to cover, put it uh, send it to us at uh, Casters of Horror at Gmail dot com. We'd love to hear from you and uh, see if there's any films that we can totally take a dump on. Um, Seriously, somebody else pick this time. <laughs> yeah, somebody else pick something. But until next week, people, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm Chris Mass. I'm Shane. Get and the hell out of here. We'll see you guys. <laughs>